Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah. Today I'll be taking a look at Dr. Wu Extreme Warfare DW-E04. This is Prime Commander. If you don't know who that is by now, come on now. Optimus Prime. There you go. Love the artwork on the side. Whoop, almost dropped it. And on the back, he's in truck mode, going somewhere. And that's it. So there you go. Oh, forgot to tell y'all. Um, on my last review with uh, Soundwave and uh, uh, Beachcomber, I forgot a transformation step. I put a, I pinned a little uh, saying or whatever at the bottom, but you can lift it up, and he has like a little ab. So that's pretty cool. So sorry about that. I forgot that little transformation thing. So anyways, go watch that review. I just did it yesterday. It's pretty good. So let's get right to this one because this is Optimus Prime, and everybody loves some Optimus Prime. So yeah, that's what you came for. Yeah. All right, there's Optimus Prime in his alt mode. I think it looks really good. It is attached right there. It's a good connection. I mean, you can, if you start shaking it really hard, it's gonna fall down, fall off. But it just, you slide this little thing right here, and goes into right there. And that's so how you can turn pretty good, this way and that way. And it'll roll. It just it's a smooth surface, so we're gonna glide on this one. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. So we'll take a look at the trailer real quick. Unfortunately, these do not move, so you can't. It's just gonna lean over like that. It's mainly used for a med bay, but it's got the iconic white background with the blue stripes. Looks good. So you got that. Then you got the nice silver and red paint back there. That's awesome. And then this side and underneath. And you can open it. Like I said, you can use it as a med bay. Now the doors do open, which is pretty cool. Kind of wish they would have put a ramp right here so you can you know, drive up some cars. Uh, fortunately, no um, drone, which I hope they make one. Uh, they are making a roller. Uh, he's gonna be like 10 bucks. They should have made, uh, should have threw in with this, but they didn't. But they gave him some like a little mechanical arms to help uh, these do move like a little bit. They do come on pegged. So like I say, is a med bay, we can have that. And it does store his weapon, that's pretty cool. You can leave that up, he can work on transformers. There's the gun, looks, you know, looks like an Optimus blaster. No paint, but that's fine. And um, you can, now like I say, if you wish he had like a little ramp or something, you can put like one or two cards in here from Dr. Wu. It won't close, especially Beachcomber's too wide. So, but you can have them in there if you want to. But like I said, it's mainly used for a mid bay. All right, let's take a look at Optimus. Looks good. Nice paint. That red right there is painted. Silver is painted. The smoke stacks are silver. You got some silver right here, some yellow. Looks good. You got his feet sticking out like always. You know, side profile, you know, you can see the ball joint, but it's not terrible for, a, you know, such a small car. You know, it's, it's really nice. Love that metallic blue, looks good. The silver right here, all over that, that's all painted. So nicely painted, I like that. There he is, that is Optimus Prime and that is his trailer for the, you know, the mid bay. There you go, that's Optimus Prime in his alt mode. And there he is next to the magic square, that's a legend scale. Like I said, Dr. Wood, what I was talking about with the sound blaster or sound wave and beachcomber is Dr. Wu is their own you know, scale. Now you can tell you could fit, I think you may have fit this guy in here. If you move this up, he will fit almost all in there. <laughs> so he is tiny. Like I said, that's a legend scale. And then that's that. Yep, yep there they are compared. That's only, um, New Age has an Optimus Prime coming out. They just showed him and it looks really good. But this is the Magic Square one and it looks good too. There they are, comparisons. And real quick, there he is next to their Beachcomber, just for a little scale of reference, and I think that goes well together. And there's Cropagonics, Crappy Toilet Paper, Care Bears, and some Pepper Spray for some scale. All right, let's transform off to Prime real quick. Okay, first thing first, you wanna take this little part, flip it back there, and take this little part right there, flip it back there, flip the toes up like that, then next you want to do is you want to untab this part right here and then lift 
up the arms like that so you can free them. Do the same thing over here, do that, and then try to lift up the arms. They get stuck in there sometimes. That's that. And then just free them like that. Move this down. I actually want to flip these up like that. And then do the same thing up there. Then flip that down. And then you want to spin his top half right here, 180. Flip up his, his head. And then just situate the arms. And then you want to extend, untab the legs to, on there, then extend those so he's a little taller. You don't want to be stumpy prime. And there you go. That is how you transform him. Easy peasy. I'll clean him up a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, real quick, there he is in his med bay. Like I said, you can use those little claw things, fix, you know, to fix them up and all that good stuff. Here he is holding his weapon. All you got to do is just slide it on and then slide it off like that. And there you go. That's how you, you put it on both hands if you want to. So it's a little grabby. Come on now, let go. All right, put these over to the side and we'll take a look at Optimus real quick. And awesome head sculpt. Got some silver paint, nice baby blue eyes. Like I said, I love that metallic blue on the windows. Silver, yellow paint right there. Silver for the smokestacks. And you got silver paint right here on the uh, uh, legs. And then back here, kind of looks incomplete. You can see the ball joints and everything. Kind of wish they would have put a piece right there to cover that up. But eh, you don't look at your transformer from behind unless you pose them like that. I don't know, whatever, but I don't. So there you go, nice head sculpt. Um, nothing looking down. Look up quite a bit because of transformation. Side to side, a little attitude, not much. The arms go out to there, all the way around. Uh, 90 degrees, swivel. Nothing for the hands. He does have a waist, well, not a waist swivel, an upper chest swivel, just because of transformation. So you can use it, but he does not have a waist swivel. Bandam all day. Kick up a little bit, not all 90 degrees. Kick back. A little thigh swivel just because of the ball joint. 90 degrees for the knee bend. Uh, toe tilt down. Nothing really up and a little rocker just for the toe. Not the everything. And there you go, that's from behind. He does got these little gaps right here too. That's kind of unsightly, but overall, not bad at all. Not bad at all, I like it. He looks good. And that is a uh, articulation and sculpt work of Dr. Wu's Optimus Prime. All right, real quick, there is their sound wave. That is a world's smallest uh, shock wave. You got shock wave from New Age, that's a legend scale. That's a uh, scalpel from Dr. Wu. You got Galvatron, Sound Blaster from Dr. Wu, and their tapes as well. Uh, Squawk Box or Squawk Talk. That's their, uh, from Dr. Wu as well. So there's a little scale reference for you. Like I said, it's all over the place. And Crapagonis, Crappy Toilet Paper, Pepper Spray, Care Bears, and Squeaks for more scale. All right, let's talk about some Dr. Woo Woo Woo. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Man, but yeah, this is a uh, Prime Commander. It is Optimus Prime, you didn't know about it now. I like him, overall he's really fun. These are great death spots. I, I didn't mention that with Sound Blaster and Sound Wave and Galvatron, but man, these would be really great uh, death spots at work or something, or just something to flip back and forth real easy and something just to play around with, very nice. Oh, I forgot to mention during articulation, he does have a back um, butterfly just cause of transformation. But I forgot to mention that. But yeah, love the trailer. Kind of wish it came with roller. Like I said, they are they have a roller coming. It's 10 bucks, but come on now. They should have just threw it in with this one. 
and uh, that would be pretty cool. And I wish he had uh, the drone little thing. That would have been sweet. I wonder if they're going to make one for that too. But it's nicely done. You know, you got a little med bay. Wish you could also, uh, you know, sit it up like this, you know, so it could, you know, stand up like that. But that, you know, it's fine. But I like the trailer. It's pretty cool. I like his weapon. It's very nice. The uh, alt mode is really cool. I like it. it looks really good. Um, paint wise, really nice. Uh, transformations, like I said, easy peasy. Uh, articulations decent you know he's got a lot of you know the what uh, chest swivel I guess if you want to call it um, he does got some decent you know possibility uh, the look of him you know the back of him is kind of incomplete but for such a small figure you know that's not really a big deal and he's got the little holes down here yeah, so but you know like I said he's very small so not a whole lot of canvas to work with so really did a great job I think Dr. Wu did a really really good job with the Optimus Prime he's fun you know like I said the paint is really there's a lot of paint I love that metallic blue on his chest looks really good what if they would have made a little little matrix because everybody he needs a matrix duh but yeah really nicely done I like it I highly recommend it he's if you're an Optimus Prime fan definitely you need to get this little fella he's really lots of fun all right hit me up some likes shares prayers and care bears go down there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind and uh, hit me up some comments. Some of you thought of the review. Is anybody in on this little, these Dr. Wu things? Like I said, they're their own scale. They're really small. So, but they're really fun. Like I said, they're really great death spots, I think. So I guess I'll see the next Transform review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro. And good night, folks. Look at that. Little teeny tiny Optimus Prime.